What's up everyone, today I'll be adding a drag clicker to my Daiwa Office Air TW. So this reel right here, I changed one thing so far, which is the spool. I have a chameleon spool here, so I can throw even lighter lures than what was out of the box. It has a KTF spool, which is already light, and you can already throw uh, one gram lures, but I feel that this chameleon spool, after I modified it, has been awesome. But every, everyone been asking me, when will I put that drag clicker on this reel? Because it doesn't come with one. Stock, you guys see this? All right, no sound at all, quiet. So, Ryan Sagisi from California, chief troublemaker, has made a drag clicker for this sexy reel here. And uh, this is their second iteration, all right? He made it a lot more affordable for you guys. And uh, instructions right here, as you guys see. So what I'll do is I will scan that and I'll obtain the, the instructions later. But let me just do the unboxing portion of this video, show you guys what's in the box. And then I'm going to nab the instructions, show you guys the instructions, because it's always, always important to go over the instruction several times, the first time to you know, get an understanding of it. You guys can ask people questions. And then second, you have to go obtain the tools you guys need to do this installation, right? And then third, you need to continue referencing, uh, referencing it as you guys do the work. All right, so three times, three times. But anyway, let's take a look up at uh, what's in this bag. Okay, what is this? I know what this is. Is this a beer bottle opener? <laughs> it's like easy, dude. This, oh, what the heck is this? This is a huge surprise. Oh man, Aurora Fishing beer bottle opener. Dude, it's like a business card all in one. <laughs> this is so cool. Yo, thank you for this nice little gift. What a wonderful surprise. Oh man, here we go. This thing right here. Let me just get rid of uh, these stuff here. All right, so what's in this kit here? All right, first and foremost, this thing is, what the heck? Look at this. Look at that, guys. Holy smokes. My drag clicker got my logo on there. <laughs> I like the freaking sticker in the back. It's like the Mario, the freaking rocket, but with a bass pattern on it. That's pretty cool. Anyway, let's unbag this and take a look. By the way, this bag is very nice, heavy duty. And make sure you guys take a look at the bottom here of the bag, okay? You don't want to drop this because this is what makes the clicking noise. And, uh, oh, this is packaged really nice. He uh, sealed it off at the bottom so that when you open this up right here, this thing won't fly out, you know, by accident. Very, very clever. Clever job there, dude. All right, let me just get this out. All right, put that there. Make sure I get this out of here. All right. Let me show you guys this sexy drag clicker. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Check out this drag clicker. It has my freaking logo on it. That is amazing. All right. And then we have this sexy sticker, which I'll slap somewhere. Huh? Not quite sure yet. I have so much stickers from every so many things, right? That I'm not quite sure where I want to put this, but this is cool. Very cool. I like it. All right, so I'm going to keep this on the side first because this is really, really important. Uh, you don't want to lose that. You have a spring, and that is what you put in there to uh, make the clicking noise. There's actually a name for that. Hold up. Let me grab the instructions for a second. I'll be right back. All right, so guys, I printed out the, the uh, product page so I could actually read some things out to you guys. Just want to make sure that you guys understand what this kit is. So I'm starting with that. And then as you see, I have a bunch of stuff here and instructions here. So uh, let's get to it, right? Um, so uh, this thing is actually made with a sort of a um, carbon nylon. It's like plastic injected uh, ring. Let me get it focused. This is where the clicking noise comes from. Uh, you can say that's the external ring. And this guy is the center. And that hole, that's where you put spring in the detent, right? And the instruction says, I went through it already, that you need to remove some part, some parts from the reel, insert this guy in, actually glue this guy in, and then install this in the spring in the detent, right? So that's what we'll be doing today. Uh, I got a lot of stuff here, because that's what it asks for. I got my wrench, got the roll roll wrench here, and I want to say thank you to Bait Finesse Empire for sending this to me, because he knows I do a lot of real stuff, so he sent that to me. All right, uh, you need a 
screwdriver, you're gonna need a, a 0.25 Allen key wrench, right? Because this guy has some, <laughs> some stuff here, all right? Some uh, screws that you need these uh, hex tools to remove. Got some drag grease. Got some cotton swab to remove the stock grease for gluing. Got super glue. And uh, yeah, this is my degreaser. Uh, don't shoot me guys, I know this is not the most inf uh, environmentally friendly, but if you guys want the best performance, sometimes you gotta use something strong, all right? That's what I'm gonna use, and that's what this jar is for. I'm gonna spray it in here, so I'm gonna dip it in, and remove just some grease off that, uh, the gear part. But anyway, um, let me digest the instructions one more time, and then I'm gonna take this real part. And as you guys can see here, my background changed. That is correct. I put a towel here, and for those who don't do um, real maintenance and stuff like that, and you don't have the right proper um, uh, mats, a towel is always good too. It's better than a hard surface because if you drop something, See that? It just kind of stays there. Imagine if I were to drop this on like somewhere else, right? See, even this bounced because you know the table down, down there is a uh, heavy, right? See, it bounces, right? Imagine if it was just a bare table. It would have probably bounced even further, especially those small stuff, especially that small little spring I was talking to you guys earlier about. You don't want to drop that because you drop that, it's gone and you don't have one anymore. And then you gotta buy another one. And uh, you guys know where to reach out to uh, Ryan. But anyway, that's, uh, let me get this situated and we're gonna get started. All right, folks, before we get started, I want you guys to obtain the schematics for this uh, reel. I noticed that it's not in my box. I reached out to a couple friends who have this reel and it was not in the box either. And one of my friends provided this to me and it was super duper useful. Uh, let me tell you guys my mistake. Uh, see this 93? I basically put it in between 95 and 94 and um, Yep, glad we have this here. So yeah guys, I left a link within the description below where you can obtain this diagram. Okay, so I loosened it. Then I go with the smaller one. There we go. Don't let it bounce too far. Doot. See, look at that. Small little guy fell right on the side. All right, let's get that out of the way, get that out of the way. Pop this guy out, come on, all right. In order, guys, in order. If this is boring for you guys, just skip it. All right, just skip it. Uh, I think it goes this way. No, it's too wrong. Let me go this way. Ah, all right, so it's counterclockwise. All right, just a little bit, then use your hands. By the way, I also have this robo tool here. Once you loosen up your, um, your nut, you use a plastic thing right here. and you will not scratch out your gears, or you don't want to scratch up uh, anything else. Which is also why this is nice, because it's actually smaller than your typical wrench and stuff like that. But anyway, let's get this done. Enough to chat. And do 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 do. Come on. Come on, all right, take that. Oh, Ooh, that's interesting, look at that. Kind of feel plasticky. All right, let's put that there, put that there. Take this out, put that there. Um, can I just take this whole thing out? Uh, yeah, it would be great if I could take the whole thing out. I think I need to actually take the drag. Loosen it, yep, let's put this here, just like that. This is going clockwise. Now, I need to jump back and take a look at something because I don't want to lose something. So this is here, just like that. And this is, maybe I could stack it together. Yeah, stack it together, just like that. I want to double check something. All right, so the clicker is internal here. So this, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, I want to do a quick comment that some reels like the Zephyr or some other brands, they have a detent in there. And uh, yeah, the clicker here is here. See that? So you guys don't need to worry about it falling apart. But uh, yeah, some other reels like the Zephyr, I remember I dropped it once and I had to go look for it. And uh, you know, it was like stuck in this thing right there. But anyway, let's put this whole thing right here. All right. All right, so I took the whole thing apart. Ooh, this one more. Put this right here. 
So that, then that. Okay, yeah, I took uh, everything apart with the Zephyr and uh, yeah, it was like, dude, where's the clicky noise? And I had to go dig for it. All right, let's put these on the side, get them out of the way. By the way, this is so hard to do uh, on camera. I'm actually standing up because I need so much room. So um, I don't even know if I'm gonna show everything. But uh, all right, let's just take this apart. Um, unlock, Doot. pop, pop, come on. That's right, you don't twist it, you just lift it right off. I'm gonna put this start thing over here. All right, so we got some uh, hex screws here. We got one here, one here, and one here, so three. So let's get going. Hopefully this is uh, gonna work. It says 2.5 millimeter and yes. All right, let's get that. I don't recommend this hand tool. <laughs> I know it's convenient to store them and you don't lose them, but uh, I already don't like it. This is truly annoying, this this tool. All right, enough crying, Jimbo. Let's just get this out and over with. One. Three, all right, let's put these on the side. There, all right. All right. Let me see. Let's take this out slowly. And then I'm gonna read the instruction one more time. Come on. You could also loosen your tension up just a little bit. I actually want to suggest loosening the tension knob a little bit because uh, they do have a tension knob pin over there. And uh, when you put it back in later, you don't want to smash it in. So let me just pull this out lightly. If anything stays there, it will stay there. And see this tension pin? When you put it back in, it needs to go through here, okay? So when you assemble everything, put it in slowly, all right? Anyway, let me put this on the side, let's not touch that. So this is the guy we need to take out. And we're gonna take out this front guy. So let me take out this thing slowly. In fact, let me put this thing down because I want to not uh, drop anything. By the way, I wash my hands and as shall you. The only grease that you wanna mess with is the dry grease and internal grease, all right? So far, I only use this real probably a handful of times, and I use it only on I guess land and creek. So everything looks pretty new, pretty clean. I'm pretty happy. All right, let me put this further away because I don't want to drop anything. All right, so this is the guy we are removing, and uh, yeah, this is it. Look at that. It's like a slab of something, aluminum. Very interesting. Put that on the side. And yep, this will go in here in place of that. Now, I have to put this in there and there's a warning from uh, Ryan. Ryan said, don't put, like, don't test fit it. It's already supposed to fit it in there. And if you look very closely to this, you see there's a groove, right? And it could get stuck in there. And you don't want that to get stuck. Uh, he said that you could damage this ring and uh, yeah, that's not a good thing to do. So it's time to do some cleaning. So I got my um, brick cleaner over there. Got my brake cleaner solution there. And uh, once I'm finished with cleaning, I am gonna pour that out and also air out the room. So let me just first show you guys what you guys need to do, okay? So if you guys look at instructions, you gotta just do like exactly two spots to clean and you gotta glue two spots when you put the stuff on. So um, I have a little mark here. I don't know what happened there, but probably from factory. So I'm gonna use that as one point and I'm gonna clean the other side. So let me just take my degreaser. Uh, first thing, first, I'm gonna take this side, just kind of touch it on the side right there. And touch the side right there. Now, uh, I'm a clumsy person. So what I'll do is I'm actually gonna take this thing out. And I believe the instructions did say, take it out. Okay, so I'm gonna take this here and clean it, clean it. Then I'm gonna dry it, dry it. And I have actually three cotton swabs and I'm gonna do it a few times because Jimbo, wanna make sure I got enough uh, grease out. Okay, exactly across. Cause I just wanna do a one and done, you know what I'm saying? One and done.
This is just my way of doing it. You guys don't have to do the same way. You guys don't have to, all right? So, should be all nice and clean, exactly right here. Now, let me get this out of the way, because like I said, it's, it's bad stuff. You don't wanna breathe this stuff in. All right, so I got liquid glue, all right? Liquid glue. Now, this doesn't say top or bottom, but I think this might be the top because it has uh, some pattern on it. So I have to put the glue exactly from this side and that side, that's it. So what you want to do is, if you guys have the liquid type, learn the flow of your glue before you guys do this, okay? So I'm just gonna apply this onto my paper here. Okay, so it's actually pretty controlled, it's not too bad. So I'm gonna get this thing done and I'm gonna look at the camera for a second, make sure that I'm recording this for you guys. So I'm just tap this. Oh, no, 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 that's too much. Just need to have it just come out just a little bit. And just tap it. Oh no, that's a lot, that sucks. Interesting. Okay. All right, well, I didn't want that much, but it is what it is. And I'm not even gonna cap that. I'm gonna put this thing right on, right away. There we go. Now it's gonna let it dry. Push it in, okay. All right, so I place a plastic ring onto the gear and I am rotating it around. As you see, it looks like it's seated properly. Everything looks even. So I'm just gonna let it sit here and dry. So I'll be right back. Time for a quick lunch. Gotta eat quick before the baby wakes up, okay? So while this thing is drying, Jimbo is gonna eat. All right, so we're gonna put some drag washer grease. Just a little bit. Tap it on the edges, then just, there we go. All right, if you guys want to, if it seems like it's dry, you guys can put some more in, but I think it should be fine. Look at that. Get it all the way in, just like that. Now it's out with this, in with this. This is gonna sit right in here, but we have to put the spring and a little detent, all right? So let me just grab this little blade here and this is cut this open right here all right and you gotta safely squeeze it out remember what Jimbo said you don't want this thing to bounce all over the place all right I'm gonna put the spring right here let's see if I can get this to focus so it's like a you can say like a mushroom head right you have a smaller thinner side and a thicker side you can put the spring into this hole just like this, okay, put it in, and on top, just like that. All right, one last look at the sexy logo, cause you know, it's so cool that he etched this on here, right? But you will never see this, never. But anyways, let's get to it. Put this in here just like that, come on. And let's safely put this on top, just like that. Boom, there it goes. It is now in. Now let me just hold this down like that. Make sure it's not too dirty there. Everything looks good. Put this thing down just like that. Here we go. Slowly, slowly. All right, everything's in place. This guy's been replaced. And now let's put the whole cap back on. Remember, this tension pin must go right back into this guy right here. All right. All right, fam, so while installing this, I found something very, very interesting. And that is this anti-reverse roller and this new thing right here. And also, also the same with the, the old thing here. So there is actually this thing right here. There's a little groove right here, teeth, right? And it's supposed to sit in that to prevent it from uh, going the opposite way. So make sure you guys are installing right back in there on top. So I'm actually gonna insert this on here first and I'm gonna rotate this until it gets into the hole, or you guys can start off with that, doing this. All right, on just like that, get it right into the hole, boom, press up, that's what you need it to be. That was my problem, and now let's put everything back on. All right guys, so I have everything reinstalled, look at that, everything is working perfectly fine. I did loosen that just a little bit. Everything is tuned for perfection. Now, time to hear the clicker, all right. Oh yeah, sounds sexy, listen to this. Right at the mic. Very, very sexy. 
Sweet! Now I can't wait to take it out to do some fishing. Uh, it doesn't sound too loud in my opinion, but it's loud enough, which I do like it. Like uh, some of them, they have some very, very loud clicker and I think it sounds a little tacky, but uh, this is, this is good. I like it. I typically prefer silent reels, but uh, yeah, this is not too bad. So if you guys want to see Jimbo fish this reel in the future and uh, hear that drag clicker go click, 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 click. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, have the bell notification turned on, and yeah, there will be plenty of videos with the Alphas Air because this is my favorite BFS reel at the moment. Once again, I want to Give a quick shout out to Ryan Sakisi. If you guys are interested in this drag clicker kit for the Alphas Air TW, make sure you guys check out the link in the description below because that is where I have gotten this clicker from. Thanks Ryan and thank you everyone for watching videos. The fish don't wait. Get those clicker on and go.